So we, we had uh, commissioned the, the report really because we, we thought that there's a tremendous amount of fragmentation really from the healthcare workers who are delivering uh, most, uh, most of uh, births uh, in the developing world from policymakers who are uh, advocating for certain interventions to be taken up, from uh, clinicians who are testing new tools and new solutions, and uh, scientists who are really understanding the basic fundamental pathways by which preterm birth and stillbirth arise. Um, and so, so we, we commissioned the report essentially to try and create a common uh, language across uh, which these different groups can can come together, and I think as I um, as I hope you'll you'll as you read the report you'll understand that this really report provides that that space that basis to to have that dialogue, and uh, can can certainly see this as a, a jumping off point, making this essentially the year of of maternal and newborn health, uh, especially as the U.S. government uh, considers the global health initiative that's been recently released. So. Um, you know, another point to take away is I think that this is a really a critical time to to take action and, and com come together as a community. So um, the Global Health Program uh, at the Gates Foundation uh, centers around sort of two major classes of issues. First is infectious diseases, and um, uh, for those of you following um, some of the press around Davos, the World Economic Forum, Bill and Melinda released, you know, their intention of making this the decade of vaccines, and so we've seen uh, uh, tremendous, tremendous progress in, in immunization, uh, in new vaccines coming, coming uh, to fruition. Um, but one area really that we haven't made much progress in is the is the area of neonatal mortality, especially in the first first month of life. And so, uh, the sort of second major initiative of the Gates Foundation in the Global Health Program is uh, a sort of basket of interrelated programs, uh, such as maternal and newborn health. Uh, nutrition and family planning that, that we call uh, essentially that all have the family at, as the unit producer of health, so the uh, so-called family health uh, approach. And so um, preterm birth and stillbirth are one of the major under-researched and unmet needs within the family health agenda. Um, you've heard some statistics and, uh, you know, neonatal um, uh, preterm birth uh, accounts for 27 percent of neonatal mortality. There are over three million stillbirths annually. And I think what we're hoping for is new technologies, new modes of prevention of these conditions. There's no reason why we have to wait until, until uh, onset of labor to deal with them. And so I think really we hope that there's a, an approach that's dedicated to prevention as the ultimate strategy for us.